that goes needs to go away. How about joining the tournament again, Horst. If I get back, ten, nine, eight. Okay, here we go. Six. This has got to be open, but I'll mute. Three, two, one, zero. Tournament starting. Oh. Here with Bill seven one seven seven. I think he played C three Sicilian against me last time. Yep, he did. I need to go in here and start this so I have my chat window open. That window's open now. I fretted over this move last time I played him. <clears throat> Went back and looked at it later and decided that d6 was better than e6. I'm sure he knows. I mean, I'm completely out of theory. I'm sure he knows this theory much better than I do. They've redone the tournament, and I'm going to turn the volume up just a little. I'm going to predict that this guy over here. Let me unmute. Oop. Unmute my picture. Uh, I'm going to predict that I play up a lot more. Uh, Horst is sending me questions. Hmm. I'm going to end up with an isolated D pawn. I don't remember how I lost to this guy last time. Well, if he captures on d5, I'm gonna have a, I'm gonna end up with an isolated pawn. Period. I don't like isolated pawns. I should have played knight b6. <clears throat> Hopefully, I'm not getting any more questions. So I can close that window. OBS is working. Seems like my, I, I know there's an issue with my volume. I'm gonna try to figure out all that stuff. Stream seems to be working okay. I don't have anybody in chat to let me know. So as I forget to do something and you can't hear me. 
I'm going to play knight b6 next move. Could probably take the knight, though. Yeah, we had a game I remember now. I captured on c3. I kind of had some play on the queen side, and he attacked my king side. I underestimated the move he played, and he ended up sacking a knight on me, and it, it just crushed my king side position. I remember that now. It wasn't fun. It was fun for him, but not for me. He's spending a lot of time on this. A lot of time. I guess he's planning on hiding that bishop on a2. Wow. He's just sitting there waiting for me to castle kingside. I'm not going to do that. Not with all this mess. Wow. I'm debating whether or not to capture that pawn, but I'm not sure I really need to be in a hurry to do it. Has some problems with this piece down here. This one. I think I just want to put it here. I'm just going to play here, I predict. I want to play here, 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 here. Here, that's my game plan. Kind of the standard Sicilian thing. Yeah. yeah I think I'm going to leave this center kind of flexible for a minute. You know, I could consider castling queenside and then moving my king over a square, moving over there. I'm either going to have to live in the center of the board. I don't think this is an option. It's just going to get too crazy. It really is. here and put his queen behind that piece. <clears throat> I gotta really focus. Because of everybody messaging me and all kinds of other things in my bit bit, I'm, I'm not focusing. He's spending his time thinking. He's really spending a lot of time here so his knight doesn't have this square or this square. I'm not ready to exchange yet. Long term, this bishop could go to this diagonal. <clears throat> Not threatening this pawn, as long as I have to do something. I think the thing I'm going to do is play d5. Let's see, if I play here and he goes here, can I stop him from coming in here? I 
put d5, he plays here. But I can't let it just sit. I either have to exchange or I have to push it. I think I'm going to have to exchange. I really, I'm really lost in this position. I don't mean that the game's lost. I mean, I'm not really sure what to, I should be doing in this position. That's what I'm trying to say. <clears throat> not really sure what the plan is here. Of course, his knight can go there and there. That's probably what he'll play. I have got to figure out a way to, to, to yep, his knight's going right there. Of course, I have this square for my knight. I think that's a good idea. Get his bishop. I'll give me a move. And a great outpost square. Castling kingside is way too dangerous. I can't even think about that. Go into there. Oh, no. I might be able to do that. He drops his knight knight in with check, captures, captures, he's out of a pawn on d6, guarded by a bishop. This is starting to look pretty bad. Here and even back here. Or here, here, and back here. So the knight would guard the other knight. The other thing is, once I got here, I'd be guarding this square. Yeah. He played that move. I've got to take it. Now, I think this piece has to go here. Yeah. Let's go around the knight. Yeah. I think that's. I think that's safe. Play out here at some point and put another piece on that pawn. Or bring the rook up, maybe. <clears throat> play here and play the rook up to attack it. He's got to deal with this for a moment. I mean, not just that it's a pawn, but this forks the queen and bishop. I'd love to get rid of his bishop. I think this guy really likes his bishops. You know? Okay, if I play here, and he plays a rook over. He's starting captures, captures, rook captures. But for the moment, I should be okay with this move. It's a little bit cold in here. I'm going to grab this jacket.
give it to him. He, he really spends his time thinking. May play well. Now you'd have to eliminate that piece first. Wow. What's he planning on doing with that? He can't sack on this square. Knight here captures here. King captures. Is there any way to get at me? In here, hmm. Well, this guy's got a great position. I'm going to target this pawn. I don't believe for a minute that it, no, he did do it. That was a shock. Never dreamed he would do that. Getting my rook and my bishop. And this square, this little square he beat me on last time. I think this piece has got to go. It may have to go all the way back. I think it might have to. He may very well do this. Captures, king captures. He may do this again, like he did in our previous game. Because my king's got to stay near this piece. Last time, oh. I know it creates some horrible weaknesses, but this square. Maybe he's trying to talk me into castling. I castle. What can he do to me? I castle. He plays bishop here. Can't castle his pieces hanging. I can't even think about that. For a moment, I could capture this pawn. Knight takes. Queen drops back. Oh, that's dangerous. That's exceedingly dangerous. Uh. All right, I gotta do something. I guess I'm gonna play here. I'm using a lot of time. Man, I gotta get my, I, I think I should just retreat this queen. I'm gonna need her to defend these squares. I, I got to get something on this. Queen here. Maybe that's the move. He may very well bring a rook to the file and exchange rooks. Yeah, 
connecting this square. Now, if I drop the knight back, he's going to target it here. I play here, he's going to play here. He's targeting it right now. Uh, I think I got to do something like that. A great diagonal. Yeah. I'll take the pawn. He moves the knight. I play queen back. He comes back and checks. <clears throat> no, he won't be able to do that. I'm getting really, really low on time. I gotta do something. All right. Boy, this is really going to look bad. I think he may take that piece I'm about to capture with the... Oh, I can't capture with the knight. And I think I can't capture with the king, that's for sure. If he takes it, I have to take with the queen. But I don't think he'll do that. I'm going to pre-move it just in case. He's probably going to bring a rook to the file. This one. He's got a time edge on me too. He can put this knight anywhere. Yep, that's what he did. Um, I believe, oh, I can't go to the square like I planned. I gotta stay. I'm going to lose the exchange, it looks like, at least. Check, king moves, take, take. Okay, I got to I gotta put my queen somewhere. Where do I go? Yeah. Uh, oh, it's with check. I drop my queen with check. The knight's going to take it. And then I can resign. This guy's good, you know. He really is. I'll give it to him. That's two games in a row he's beaten me. He, he's methodical. Finds good moves. He really does find some good moves. He really knows how to attack. He's slow, and he takes his time. You know, those, those two things mean the same thing. He's slow, takes his time, figures out what to do. Um, all that. This is funny. It says up here, Deep Geek is streaming. I'm still trying to work out this whole thing about I open it up in OBS Studio, I get it going. You know, they only have forums. There's nobody you can write to and ask them about it. Um, you know, so I'm not sure what the deal is. When I start that stream in, in OBS Studio, does it automatically open, you know, go to the thing here? There's a chat window that goes with this thing. Do Dr. Butter. I think I played this guy before. Yeah, yeah, I did. I beat him. <laughs> I dropped the number 35. Brilliant. At least I didn't lose a lot of points. I always like to play some sort of Grimfield setup. So he's hitting this piece, and now I have to. I think I pretty much have to. I'm going to make him. 
hope this year they can either trade or or uh, play e4 and kick my knight. I have no idea what the theory is here. Totally out of book. As usual. What is this? Move five or something? I have no idea what the theory is. Heading there. I may have to turn the heat up a little. I don't mean the game, I mean this room. <laughs> it's chilly. Sorry about the squeaky chair. <clears throat> oh yeah, here we go. This is more like a Grunfeld. I think I can just put my knight there. Well, if he pushes, my knight's going. I was thinking last move about putting my queen here, make him defend that pawn. I could also do this, because this bishop over here is not that great behind these pawns. Oh, offers a draw. I don't think so. Now watch me lose. He offered me a draw. Well, I guess, I don't know, I'm higher rated. purpose of an opening like this, it's a uh, hyper-modern opening. White's got the big center, and you should attack it. This is what I should be doing. Go for the move like this. Undecided where this piece should should be. Should it be there? He kicks me. I have to either trade or come back. But I gotta get it out of the way so these rooks communicate with each other. I want to play this first. Start working on his center. I guess I could play here and then play the bishop out somewhere. Make it a better piece than it is. Also, I could capture, recapture, queen all the way over here. Wow. Getting my queen. That calls for this move. <clears throat> wow, again. Or 
where can this guy go? He's got to go here. I better not lose this game. I'll be mad at myself if I do. Not that my position's that great, but he's lower rated. I turn down a draw. Okay. Don't allow that to happen. Just threw my fish hitting my queen. Nope, I can't let that happen. I'm going to have to do something here. Probably something I don't want to do. Like get eaten up by the center. That's what I was worried about. I capture, he pushes, the bishop hits the queen, the pawn hits the knight. And I lose a piece. My best plan is to move the knight. He's going to push this pawn right down my throat. Right there. I'm in a bad position all of a sudden. My queen goes here. He can move his knight. The bishop, he can move his knight somewhere. The bishop will hit my queen. And my queen will move. But where else is my queen going to go? And in fact, he's threatening that, isn't he? No, he can't play it yet. Here, where was his knight? My queen here. He's targeting that pawn. He trades queens. That will give me a little bit of help. The only other move is to play here, in my opinion. I guess I could play back here. There are no great moves here. I close my eyes and play that move. He's got a terrific position. I completely failed at undermining his center. Ugh. If he's strong enough, he'll crush me in this position. And I am worried about this diagonal in the long term. Clear a few pieces out. Bring his rook to b1. Okay, that move kind of surprised me a little. I think he had better than that. Play here. Target the pawn. Maybe he'll exchange queens, which would help me. Okay, I play here. Oops. I play here. He captures. Knight captures. He brings a rook to the file. Bishop moves. His knight moves somewhere. Targeting my B pawn. I play rook B1. Play rook b8 followed by pushing the pawn. Pawn 
turn I can play here and undermine his center a little bit. Move like that. This is a lot of moves to trade queens. I got so many problems here, I don't know what else to do. Remove the recapture. This game is not going well. He's even got a time advantage on me. Once I fix up my queen side, if I can blockade this pawn, should be okay for a while. At least that's my theory. So he brings the rook to the center. I have to play here. He moves the knight, targeting his pawn. I have to play here. Plays there to attack it. I have to drop the knight back. He advances the pawn on my knight. And then what happens? It'd be great to have this knight. We played it that way. Okay, I play here. He moves the knight. And I'll have to play here. I've got to be careful about losing my knight. Right now, I think I have to play play here. I got to do it this way. I could very easily get my knight trapped. I can't be playing this move because the knight can't. He needs a safe square to come back to for a move, even if I lose a pawn. <clears throat> Two on this square. Now, I play here. He pushes the pawn. I play bishop here. He pushes the pawn again. I think I'm going to lose a pawn over here. <sighs> I need a way to get this piece to here. 
time to get that done. And I don't have it. Right here, on here, where do I go? All right, I'm going to do this. It, uh, hopefully I can get my knight out of there someday. He doesn't at, le at least he does not have an immediate way to attack it. His rook can't come here to attack it. <clears throat> uh, he ought to play right here. I may end up having to lose this knight for a pawn. But right now, what has he done with the rook? He's trying to trap the knight. So if I play here and we trade, oh, he's, he can play over here. That's what he's up to. And I want to play here to guard the knight. I'm going to lose some pawns over here. I think he's going to trade and I'm going to trade. Yeah. That's right. That's what he's going to do. Now he's going to come over here and attack my knight. And that knight does not have a good square. I'm going to have to advance this pawn to try to hold the knight. Man, i got to get that piece out of there. This thing's a real problem. Wasting time on that for. I play here. I've got to stop him from advancing that pawn. What about this move? Captures, captures. That's an idea. Should have possibly moved this rook over. If he plays here to attack my rook, I'm going to here. Holy smokes, this is bad. My position is crumbling. This move destroys me some reason he's not playing it. What is he doing? He's going to come in here? He's going to play up now. What I want to do is this, try to hold my knight. don't understand. I really don't understand what he's doing. Now, if I play here, and we exchange, this knight's guarding this pawn. That would help me a lot. Because I can push it to there. I don't have much to hold on to in this game. Look here, maybe. I mean, he's just completely crushing. His pieces are great. They're just really great. You know? Here, knight takes, pawn takes. He wins a rook. Okay. 
Knight here, knight takes, pawn takes, rook takes, rook takes, rook takes. I can't even get a sneaky in at this point. Uh, he's going to win a pawn. He sure is. Push here. Rook takes. We exchange rooks. And I push again. That won't work. Take here, we exchange, 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 and then I push. Can he stop that pawn from queening? No, he cannot. I can't stop his from queening either. He cannot stop me from making a queen. Man. What a crazy position. Oh, he can mate me. That'll work. Do I have a way of guarding that? I don't think I do. I can't guard this piece. His next move is this move, and it's a checkmate, and there's nothing I can do about it. Is there... <clears throat> I don't see anything I can do. Is there anything at all I can do here? Nope. I'll just give it to him. He won. He pretty convincingly outplayed me. I'll, I'll give him that. Watch, he'll say good game. That's what they do when they win. <laughs> Two brutal losses. I probably have got time for two more games. Sure hope I beat this guy. The rate at which I'm losing points. Everybody plays a Berlin. Of course, I have no idea what I'm doing here. I'm again out of theory. I know the story. I think I finally found somebody I can beat. I win a couple of pawns here. Oh, this is really starting to suck. That last game, that was a rough game. I really, I mean, I should have beaten that guy. This will be an easy round. Watch me say that and lose. Okay, I'm up. 
He's got five pawns. I've got seven. I'm up two pawns. Oh, that was a much better move. Did I have that? That's what comes from moving too fast. Instead of castling, I should have just pushed and won the knight. Not smart. Only move is his best move is that. Two losses in a row. Horrible. You really going to go for him? I want to get rid of his bishop. Then we'll pick up a third pawn. Let me see what that noise was. Sorry about the squeaking here. Another pawn. I really needed an easy round, I'm here to tell you. Those are two really tough games. Fayville, whatever, he he just beat me again. And should have played a different opener against him just to mix it up a little. That other guy though, I, mean, I let that one get away from me. In the early middle game, I gave him the big center. I mean, when the center advanced, not so much when he got the center, but when I let him advance it. In the in the Grinfield, they either just completely crush you with that kind of thing, or you pick their center apart, which I've done a lot of times. I'll give it to him. It was a beat down. He just did it. All right. This is me being ridiculously cautious. Gotta start winning the close ones. His last two, fairly close. I guess if I win this one, I'll play somebody around. I mean, these numbers on the right, I don't really know what they mean. 51 and 53. I guess I'm number 51 in the tournament after losing two games. Where my opponent is. Oh, there he is. I 
I'd like to check him here and drive his king back. That's what I'm going to do right now. These tournaments are stressful. And yet, my pulse is 84. Could defend that pawn by playing a rook here. A few, few moves earlier, he uh, when he played his rook up to trade rooks with me, that was that's not what you do. You're behind. A lot of times, lower rated players think if you're playing somebody higher rated, that you should try and trade pieces with them. But that never works. That's not the thing to do. I mean, higher rated players are much stronger in the end game than lower rated players. So they will beat you. I was pumped up already before I came to this tournament tonight because I worked 33 chemistry problems quickly. Okay, that will allow me to win that pawn. I guess I'll just collect another pawn. If he plays here to target this pawn, I'm just going to play here. I was saying. His root can move here, but if his root moves anywhere else, I'll take that pawn. Look at this move. I can play here and guard my rook. If he captures, I take his rook. And I'm threatening to trade. Bye-bye, rook. Not a great night for me. ODNT is leading the team. We are in fourth place. What do you know about that? A 1594 is number seven in the tournament. This guy's having a good tournament. I've never played him before. C3 Sicilian. Here we go again. Guess that threw him for a loop. Knight f6. I moved to.
Let's settle for that. This guy's number seven in the tournament. Let's go over here. Take a look. He's playing really strange. Right here, let us check here. This king would be moving right here to here. That is really a cheap move to play this. There's no strategic reason to do that. my long-term game plan with this knight move? I don't think I have one. I guess it's gonna I definitely wasted a move with that knight move. You never know. This could be one of those guys. I played one one time. Very unorthodox. And yet they just slowly strangled you. The guy had, I don't think he'd ever read an opening book in his life. He just played a very bizarre style of chess. Very close for an incredibly long time. And then he'd find some move in there. No idea what this dude's doing. From his name, I thought I'd played him before, but maybe not. All right. want to push a pawn somewhere in the center. Play that and then that. Because I believe if I play here, he'll play here. somewhere in the rook exchange. I'll go ahead and play this. Put this piece on this square, this piece on this square. That's really not much of a threat. Push here, he captures. I can't capture with this because this piece hangs. I'm about to put this piece here first. This one's got to go here before I do anything. Or he could go here. It's got to go somewhere. Oh man. 
I got a feeling this guy is one of those people. Okay. If I push, he can't take because I'll take with my rook and he's got a bad pawn there. So if I push and he pushes in exchange, I think that's what I want to do. No. I'll play it this way. Who knows? Maybe he's, in the, you know, that other guy I was talking about that knew zero about openings. He was a master at pawn play. I mean, he just kind of got you to put a pawn on the wrong square and then he undermined it and won it. I mean, in just the most messed up positions you can possibly imagine. Sick. You know? I mean, this really is sick. Capture, queen captures, knight here hits the queen. I think he's actually frustrating me to the point that I'm going to make a mistake. He's going to take it with the knight or the queen. There he goes. Okay. Now, if I play here, I have no idea what the right move is. I guess I'll just keep trading. We're toward the end game. That last game was weird. I queened a pawn and then got checkmated. Yeah, that's right. I couldn't stop the pawn. I didn't look one move deep, deeper or I would have realized I was being mated. Uh, it's going to give me a backward pawn on an open file. Maybe it's like a minute longer too. Knight takes. Well, he forced that exchange. Now, if I push, he can capture.
that out there. Bringing this rook over. Left the game. Oh, he's back. I guess he got disconnected or something. Yeah, I could play rook here. I could take my time. And then bishop, rook, bishop here and bishop up here. I could exchange off my bad bishop. Captures, captures. I'm excited about it. Let's do it. Oh, he's going to play queen takes. I don't have that move, do I? This dude is one of these dudes. Play here, he plays here. Now he's got to guard the bishop. Rook exchange. Play here and hit his queen. Where did his queen go? Can go there, there, or there. Where does his queen go? I'll play this move. Here. Okay, I've won a piece. And then we get to exchange some material. Good things. Move his queen again, and I'm gonna get his rook. I don't know why he moved. Oh, he was in check. That's why he moved his king. This is a messed up position. Design, dude. I can't take it anymore. It's the truth. I can't take it. This is like torture. I, I, I mean, I, this is three games. Thank you. Maybe I'll have time for one more. Tony's having a good tournament. Why is this master mummy asking that question?
Let's just play the Berlin. I'll play the Berlin. This is way harder than doing 33 chemistry problems. All 77. I'm doing all right. Um, that's interesting. Here. Go in here and target this queen, target that. He needs to go back home now. Whoa. I didn't expect that. Really, really bad move. I'm going to lose a pawn. All right, he didn't do it for some reason. I'll take that one. Now I will take that one. I really want to play queen here. Because I don't want this guy messing with me. And I'm willing to double my pawns to do it. Rush that. I like the way it limits this piece. He can only go there. Or he has to push this pawn and bring it out this way. I got a nice active bishop on that diagonal. Here, and I really want a castle queen side. I want to get this piece out. Castle queen side, get these rooks connected, have them working on this file. Oh. Wow. Okay. I think he just gave me a pawn. I'll take that way, because it's pinned. My active bishop.
Battery is low. When is the battery not low? I really want to play that check. Guarded by this. This guy had better watch it. I made queen a pawn. He's got a lot of bad news coming. I just want a piece. And an exchange. Check by this. I hope he doesn't resign because frankly I don't want to play another game tonight. I mean it's 20 after 8. The tournament ends at 8.30. I won't be able to get another game in and, and have it finished. Given how miserable this has been. Beating a 12-12, I'll gain zero to one rating points. I mean, I know rating, it's not all about rating. You know, it really is. Okay, I can queen here and checkmate him. Because this check, he doesn't have anything he can do except rook takes. And pawn takes, queen. Probably just learning. Pause. I'm going to read some of these chess messages. You know what? It doesn't say that I'm streaming anymore. Why not? I said it earlier. See, the tournament's only got eight minutes left. It said that I was streaming up here. No, no, no. Good games. Good games. Oops. Just reading the chat. Pass, pass. I think that's the National Master I played. Yeah, he is. saw a comment in here about the Little Rock Club. I'm looking for it. I mean, I know where it is, but I wanted to read these others too. No more games, so if you want to stop watching, feel free. Good game, good game, good game, good game. This guy keeps saying he's going to cry. I beat him too. Good game, good game, good game, good game, good game. Do all the why are they asking about us? Do all the Memphis chess club players live in Memphis? The guy says, Do all the Little Rock chess people live in Little Rock? Question mark, question mark, question mark. Finally, Floppy answers him. Most of us do. Those that don't still join our Little Rock Chess Club Zoom games on Friday nights. Well, not exactly great. I didn't play any of my regulars like Fitzwilliam Darcy or Norma Zebra or, or even Tiny Zebra. 
except I did play Fayetteville. So one seven seven. I may get feedback here. I'm gonna try to check the see if my if my uh, streaming things up. What's lit up? What happens if I click and go? Last time I got horrible feedback. When I do not get it. I don't know how to work this thing. Oh well, I'll keep trying. Yeah, see, there it goes. One window inside another. I'm about to figure it out. Anyway, if I go here to OBS, thanks for watching. I'm slogging off now. Stop streaming. Yes. Goodbye.